The beehive just keeps growing. What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Toy World Green Hornet. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. And we'll just show off how everything is packed here. When you get this, you can see it comes in an all black box here. Just Toy World, TWFSO3 stuff. Just black, black, black all around. But when you open up the box, you do have this extra box, if I can get it out, this extra box that is inside, and we'll get to what's in this box in a little bit, but we dump this out, and here we have the actual packaging for Green Hornet. You can see some lovely artwork there of Green Hornet, aka Bumblebee, in his vehicle mode, in his robot mode, Green Hornet, bloody 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 things and stuff, Toy World, Green Hornet, Green Hornet, Green Hornet, Green Hornet. On the back, your obligatory product shots, this set, the other things and stuff. And we have Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along here, we have a Green Hornet. And this is Toy World's take on Bumblebee during the World War II flashbacks in the last night. And there he is in his vehicle mode, and he is a Mercedes-Benz 320, and the only reason that I know that is because they uh, they put it on the instructions. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known. Otherwise, I don't care. I still don't care, but that's what he is for the car, guys. So here he is in his vehicle mode, and very nicely done vehicle mode, I will say. Looks really, really good. And let's get in close here. So you can take a look at the details. You can see you have kind of like a dingy yellow there for the headlights. You can see like a... Uh, like a dull silver for the front grille, for the bumper. A little hood ornament there is picked out in paint. Got the nice white wall tires and the rims done in silver. You can see you got some nice weathering across the car. Looks really, really good. You can see the back taillights there. And inside the car, you can see the seats. You can see even the windshield wipers are picked out in paint and if we look at the uh the dashboard here even little details there on the dashboard are also picked out in paint little steering wheel there all oh, very nicely done very nicely detailed and there's the bottom all the robot parts are pretty well concealed he does roll as rolling things should he does roll quite quite smoothly well there you go and for comparison, uh, here he is with Studio Series Bumblebee, and you can see he is basically Studio Series size. So here he is with Studio Series Deluxe Bumblebee. Here he is with the Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Bumblebee. Here he is with the Studio Series World War II Bumblebee. And here he is with the Toy World Bulldog. So you can see... Oh, they look side by side. So, there you go. So now let's talk about accessories. He does include quite a few. Um, he does come with the bumble hammer. That's what I call it anyway. He has a little battle hammer here. You can see done in a nice gunmetal gray and pretty nicely detailed. As you can see, looks pretty good. You get that and you get not one, but two guns here. And again, just done in that gunmetal gray. And pretty nicely detailed. As you can see. And you get two of those. And you can store these on the vehicle mode. And what you do here is you take the hammer and it splits apart into two pieces. And what you do is you take this portion here. There's a slot and there's a tab. You just plug this in like so, and then you take this end, and um, I've seen people dis display like that, which you can totally do if you want to. Me, personally, I turn it around like this and plug it in this way, that way you have a bit of, you know, a bit of symmetry going on. I like symmetry. And these just clip over the sides of the car right here. You can put them further up front, put them right here. Um, this section right back here, you can kind of see where 
it gets a little thinner right here. If you put it like all the way in the back, it's going to be kind of loose. But if you put it right there in that thicker part, that'll hold in just fine. And that's why I like to put it just right behind that hinge there. But as always, your toy, display it however you wish. You can plug that right there. And there you have storage for your weapons if you want storage. Hey, a thing you can do if you want to do it. And just like with Toy World's Bulldog, you also get a section of the little brick road here. Again, is nicely painted, nicely weathered. Looks very good. Love the paint job. And the cool thing, I did not notice this until now, but there are actually little magnets that go around the perimeter here. So if you have Bulldog's section also, they will, uh, oops, wrong side. They will actually magnet together. Maybe not well, but it holds well enough. <laughs> hey, you can do it. Either way, like that or like that. That's pretty cool. So you can actually connect the roads here. And you can have a bigger little piece of road to drive on if you want to. You can have, you know, B and Bulldog just kind of displayed there. Which is pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Um, I haven't really had much success trying it, trying to get it to stand like that. That doesn't really work out too well. Yes, it doesn't really. The magnet doesn't work that well to hold that up, but you know, A still works as far as like just having a little, uh, boop, having a little, little road there. So hey, not bad. It's a display option as always. Options are good. But that is basically it for the vehicle mode. Again, a very nicely done vehicle mode. Oh, I forgot to show off these little, uh, these little markings here on the sides here. You got a little 28301 right there on the side. Yeah, very nicely done. Deal commode all around. And what time is it? What time is it? It's time to get down to transformation, shall we? Let's you can get good spin out of this old boy. All right, so the transformation for a figure this size, for a figure, for a deluxe size figure, the transformation is quite involved, quite involved, but uh, pretty cool. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is just want to take the uh, front windshield here and just bring that down, take these seats, and just fold these down, fold these back seats down also, not all the way, just get them down just to get them out of the way, like so. You wanna come down here, this section right here will untab. Yep. Untab, there we go. See a little tabs right here, just going right there. So just bring that down, and once you've done that, you wanna take these back sections here, and you want to pull them out so, they undo themselves from there. It's kind of like a little jigsaw piece going on there. And you just undo the other side, pull that out like so. And once you have both sides out, you can now just extend all this like that. And once you do that, you want to come here to this section and just kind of pull this out, swing that on the double hinge just to get that out of the way. Pull that out. And get that out of the way. And at this point now, we can take this panel here. And this will just come out. And this section will come down. And you just bring that back the rest of the way, like so. Same thing on the other side. Just bring that back. Bring that down. Bring that back the rest of the way. And now we can split the legs. And we can work on the legs. So... What we're going to do here is we're going to take this section here, and this will just come back like so. You want to take this whole assembly here, and this will just come up and forward like that. So you can then get the foot out. Bring out the foot. You want to take this little section here, bring this out. This little section here just swings around to the front like so. Bring out his toe, just bring the foot up the rest of the way. This bit right here, just swing that around like so, that makes his heel. And then we take this wheel section here and we just get this out. There's a little bit of a clearance issue here, but can kind of finagle it out. Just bring that out. This little section right here, you want to bring forward like so. Bring this down the rest of the way and this will tab in to the foot right there like that. 
Once you've done that, you want to take this section here, bring this up, take this panel, and bring this back. You do kind of have to flex things to get this to clear, but you want to fold that back like so. And then there's a little tab that will go in right there. So you just tab that in, push all that in. This little panel right here comes down like so. And there you have a leg all done. Second verse is just like the first. And we just bring that back, bring that forward, forward, forward. There we go. And bring down the foot, bring this down, swing this around, bring out the toesies, swing around the heelsies, bring out the wheelsies. Come on, come on. There we go. Got the wheelsies, bring forward this little tabbies, and plug it into the slotties, and then bring this back. Bring that panel back like so. Tab all that in, bring that in, flip this down, and there you have the legs all done. So now we move on to the upper body. So what we're going to do here is we're going to untab this section here, which is pretty tough. There we go. Untab that section there. And what helps is if you take the uh, the seat here and just kind of bring it out to the side like that, it gives you something to hold on to and you can kind of just get the arm up and around. It's a little hard to get the arm out. There we go. Just a little bit of finagling, but you can get it out and you can just bring the arm out like so and just leave it like that for now. And now we'll do the same thing on the other side, get the other arm out. Again, helps if you kind of bring the seat out. So you have something to kind of grab onto and just kind of get things kind of swung around here. Oh, of course we have to untab all this first. That should be the first thing you do. There we go. Now you can bring all that up and just kind of get things out of the way for now. And at this point, we can just take these fender pieces here, just kind of swing those around like so. Help us bring the arms out like that. These sections here, these shoulder sections, are going to rotate up like so. Like that. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take these side sections. These will come out. These little panels here will flip up. Bring that out, bring that up. You take the uh, little spare tires here and these will just collapse down into the body. So just take these and just swing, come on. Just swing those in like so. You wanna come here to this front grill section and this will just pop up, get that unclipped and we can just Bring. First thing you want to do is take this whole grill section and bring this around on this double hinge and just collapse that down onto his back. And we can open that up. And there is his noggin. And you want to take this little panel right here and you want to just get this up. And this is why I didn't cut my nails yet because I need my nails for this. It's going to get that, pry that up there, get in there. And you just want to pry up this little panel here like so. And then we just bring all that up like that. And then we can take this section here and just collapse it down like so. And then we can bring the chest up. There's a little tab, a little slot right there. That will come up and just tab in and you just want to make sure this panel is oriented properly so everything will line up and, and boop, there you go. That tabs in right there. Then you just bring these sections down and these little bits right here, we'll see, you'll see, they will fill in that portion of the torso very nicely. So you got that going on. And then we can just collapse his midsection in. We can close that up. These panels here, these butt plates, we can now collapse these up the rest of the way. And we are at the home stretch here. So we just, Bring his arms down and around. Again, just make sure these fenders, little fender pieces are 
oriented the right way. So they're not in your way. They're gonna be in your way anyway, but they're not totally in the way. You basically want them like that. So now we can work on the arms. So you just bring this around. Uh, the seat is just going to swing around. You see there's a little tab that'll go into a little notch under the seat and just kind of swoop into place, collapse that down. This panel right here will just collapse down like so. It does not stay in, unfortunately, and is very loose, and that makes no sense, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, you want to flip out the hand and just open it up like so. And there you have the arm all done. Same thing on the other side. Second vest, as always, just like the vest. So just swing that around. That'll flip into place. Collapse. Collapse. Flip out the hand. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. We we're done. And there you have Green Hornet, a.k.a. World War II Bumblebee in his robot mode. And like I said earlier, for being a deluxe-sized figure, the transformation is very intricate, very involved, but the end result is amazing. This figure just looks awesome. I love it. I love it. It looks so good. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. There's the noggin. You can see, very bumblebee, well, yeah, yeah, this is where my tongue stops working. A very, very, <laughs> let's try it again. A very bumblebee head sculpt. There we go, the brain's working again. And you can see some nice metallic blue there for the eyes. You can see some nice detail there. And you can see the body here, nice weathering effect here. On the body itself looks so good. Got little markings there on his chest. Got some nice details picked out there and some of that gunmetal gray. You can get some like copper details picked out there as well. And again, the weathering effect just looks really good on this. See a 283 there on his shoulder. Also 52. Okay, these arm panels again, lots of nice weathering. Again, these panels are annoying. Why don't these tab in? These really need to tab in or not be loose. These these panels honestly make no sense because everything else on this figure is like super snug, but these panels for some reason are super loose. It makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. Would have been nice if there was a tab to secure these in place. I mean, you know, they'll hold in place, but if you just, they'll stay in place well enough for any kind of real posing, but once you move them too much one side or the other, they're just gonna flop around. So I, I don't know, that makes no sense. But anyway. Let's continue looking at all the nice, wonderful details. But yeah, you can see there. Again, all that nice weathering there, little coppers, the silvers. The feet, the big old feet, which also look really good. And the transformation is quite clean, as you can see. Like, everything tidies up beautifully. Like, really, really nicely done transformation. Just cleans up wonderfully. All around just a really really cool figure now articulation wise the head is on a ball joint you do get a little bit of wiggly waggly you can look up you can do total squirrel you can totally do that you can look down a little bit head of course can do a full 360 shoulders are on a ball joint um they can rotate but these back wheels kind of get in the way but you can kind of get them moving around however you need to. You might undo the chest in the process. You have inward and outward movement. Uh, you have this section right up here is on a ball joint, so that's where your rotation is. You even have some inward movements if you need it. Your elbow, you have under 90 degrees of bend. Um, as far as the hands go, there is no wrist rotation, but the hands can move inward and outward. Uh, the thumb, as you can see, is on a hinge and his other fingers are just on a single hinge right there. He does have waist rotation due to transformation. He does end up with an app crunch that you can use. The legs can move forward that far. You can do them high kicks. You can do the big boot back about that far outwards, about that far. Uh, you do get thigh rotation. You do have a double jointed knee, but just due to how everything is kind of designed on the backs of his legs, you only get about 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. You can also, you know, you can break his legs. You can do that if you want to. Hey, why not? As far as the feet go, um, 
There is no upward or downward movement. Uh, you do have a toe joint there that moves down if you need to. And you also have your ankle chuchidja. And of course we can give him his weapons. We can give him the bumble hammer and you can store it on his back if you want to. You do have a clip right back here and you can just clip it on and have that stored across his back, which is quite cool. Or we can just have him wielding his bumble hammer like so. Just close his fingers around it. And he holds it securely enough. It's not like a dead solid grip, but he holds it securely enough. So you can get some posing out of him. There we go, get his fingers nice wrapped around it. There you go. Like I said, he holds it well enough for posing. And those don't hold well enough at all. Anyway. And of course you can give him his guns. You can have him do wielding. And you just flip the handles down and you can see there are little, little slots on either side of the handle. And his hands have little, little tabs in there. And you just take those, and you just plug it in, plug it in, it holds in pretty well. Again, it's not dead solid because it's a very tiny tab, but it holds well enough. And you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. As far as storage for the guns, I don't know. I don't, the instructions don't even acknowledge that these exist, so, you know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, could you maybe... I guess you can still use this panel here, can you still clip it on here if you want to? Eh, kinda, kinda, kinda. Kinda, kinda, yeah, eh, 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 whatever. <laughs> there you go. He has his weapons though. And they look quite cool. And of course you can display him on the uh, little piece of pavement here if you want to. Hey, again, things you can do if you want to do them. You do also get face options for Bumblebee here. He does come with his battle mask. You can see the nice metallic blue paint there with a visor, and this just frictions right onto his face, like so, and there is B with his battle mask. And you do also get an optional head. Now the head that is on him right now is the traditional Transformers movie Bumblebee style head, but you do also get a Bumblebee movie Bumblebee styled head sculpt as well. You can see very nicely done. Nice blue paint there for the eyes. So ears picked out in that gunmetal gray. So you also get the Bumblebee movie Bumblebee head. And the heads are very easy to swap out. It's just on a ball joint. So you just pop one head off. Pop the new one on. Yeah, like so. Just snaps into place. You'll probably undo the chest. There we go. And there is Bumblebee with the Bumblebee movie Bumblebee head. Hey! Made him weak. There you go. <laughs> So you have that going on as well, and you do also get the Bumblebee, movie Bumblebee specific battle mask. You know, with the nice metallic blue for the eyes, and this also just frictions right on, like so, and now you have B ready for battle. So you have options, and as always, options are what? Are what? They're good. And the last thing to talk about here is what's in the box. What's in the box? Well, what's in the box is um, apparently Toy World is going to be doing a Build-A-Figure. They're going to be doing a Build-A-Figure of a World War II Starscream. Yeah. So uh, with Green Hornet here, we get the first piece of Starscream here. I open it up and it's encased in some lovely... Fomage, hooray for Fomage, get out of here. And what we get here is what looks to be um, Starscream's left leg, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's his left leg. So, yeah, here is Screamer's leg. This is all you get. There's no instructions or anything yet. <laughs> I'm guessing we'll get the instructions for transformation and all that when uh, we have all of the pieces in hand. But, yeah, we get... Uh, we get a Screamer leg right there. So there you go. We have one piece of him. You can kind of see how big he's going to be too. It's going to be pretty big. So yeah, there you go. There's, there's, there, there's, there's the first piece of Screamer. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with the Studio Series Bumblebee. With the Studio Series Bumblebee movie Bumblebee. 
with the Studio Series World War II Bumblebee. And just because, here he is with the Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Prime. And lastly, but not leastly, here he is with Toy World's Bulldog. So, there you go. So there you have a Green Hornet, and this is a very impressive figure in my opinion. Um, this is pretty much a masterpiece level transformation at a deluxe scale, which is just crazy. He looks great in both modes as far as I'm concerned. The only issue I have, and apparently everyone is having this issue, I've seen it in pretty much every video I've seen, is just these floppy arm panels, which again make no sense because everything else on this figure is super snug, but those panels are just floppy loose. Makes no sense, but it is what it is. It's the only real issue I have with this figure. Otherwise, everything else works exactly as it should. And um, yeah, I love, uh, love the head options. Overall, a really well done, really impressive figure in my opinion. So there you go. Now I pick this up from a TF Direct. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. For all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Toy World Green Hornet. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud. Boom in your face. Hey there, Bumblebee! Oh, what what are you wearing? Oh no 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 no! We're 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 starting over. That 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 never happened. Don't ask me. Ask the executives. I don't know where they are either, and they keep ignoring my phone calls.